So when I came into this industry, I was 21 years old. So I was very young um, and I was surrounded by the most amazing, outgoing, confident, boisterous white men. That, those were my predecessors. And I was nothing like any of them, obviously. Um, so I had to kind of carve my own way. I was given opportunities. I was given opportunities where it was like, you know, here's a business, figure it out, learn it, do what you want. But I didn't have anybody to learn from. So every day was a learning experience to help me understand what my experience was going to be. But now, obviously, I'm a little bit wiser, a little bit older, and um, I, I'm able to tap into some of the resources that I didn't know because there was no handbook. Nobody said, this is how you do things to run a successful business. I had to figure it out um, every day, just take every day as it came. Owning a business um, as a woman, I honestly think you have to take advantage of the opportunities and you have to go into it with confidence and with your voice and not be afraid to ask questions. Um, what would I tell women coming into the business? I would tell them to read the poem by Marianne Williamson. It's called Our Deepest Fear. And what she says in there is that um, it, it doesn't serve you to be small. It, you know, she basically says you, you have to um, you have to make other people uncomfortable sometimes in order to be comfortable yourself. And I think now with women coming into um, into business and leadership roles, there is more of an opportunity and more of a push for them to be vocal, um, to not be afraid to say what they're thinking. I didn't have that opportunity. As I said, there was nobody in the industry that looked like me. There was only and the one other woman in the industry at the time, everybody else in fitness were fitness models. And I certainly did not fit the mold of what a fitness model was. So now they have the opportunity to just try things, to be fearless. I had to grow into that. And so I would definitely recommend that they take chances, they take risks. Um, I would also highly recommend that they find a mentor. Another woman who has seen some of the things that they could have told me to be, get ready for. So as women coming into, into business, into leadership, absolutely get yourself a mentor. Find somebody that you can talk to. It'll be the absolute best thing you could ever do.